What's good guys? So I want to show you a really, really solid method to do CPA marketing. And this is a method so easy, you're going to be kicking yourself uh, because you haven't figured this out on your own. Once you see this method, you're going to be amazed at how easy this method is and how simple it is to get started and start promoting amazing CPA marketing offers. Okay, so let's get started. So if you Google this phrase here, travel is up in 2021, you're going to see a lot of articles and really travel is up, right? In 2020, we had that big issue, that whole pandemic and all these things, lockdowns, and people weren't able to travel. But now things are coming back slowly. They're on the increase. And so this industry is slowly increasing and slowly getting back to its previous levels. So this is amazing. So if you go to Offerworld, okay, Offerworld, and you go to categories and you just type travel. All you have to do is type travel. You don't need to pick a network. You can if you want. So for instance, you can go in here and pick Max Bounty. Okay, and you're going to see Max Bounty offers. Now, the reason I'm using Offerworld is I understand not everybody has a Max Bounty account. So I want to make it convenient for you to show you all the available offers. So we can, you know, delete this here and we can see offers across a lot of networks in the travel category and so we have 312 offers but if you go in here and we type max bounty and we choose that we're going to have a little bit less we have 30 offers so if you have a max bounty account and you can watch one of my videos that tells you how to get approved for max bounty you can use these offers if not you can apply and you can easily get approved it's very very simple but anyway now we're seeing various offers that we can promote now I'm going to show you in a second exactly how to promote it. The reason I'm showing you this now is I want you to understand there's a lot of really good travel offers. Now, how are we going to be promoting it? This is the next part here. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to Google Sheets and you want to create two tabs or two sheets here, right? This is a spreadsheet with two sheets and you can call the cities and offers, okay? And once you have that, just leave it blank because you're going to go to the next step. In the next step, you're going to go to a site called Wiki Travel. Okay, you're going to go to Wiki Travel and you're going to type the name of the country. Now, you can promote any country that you want. I know I have a lot of Indian viewers. You can type India or you can type Mexico or you can type just pick any country you want. You can type United States. Does not really matter. Pick your favorite country. I like Mexico. So I'm going to type Mexico and I'm going to press search. Once I do that, I'm going to be on a page that looks like this. And this is an amazing resource. Actually, Wiki Voyage is one of my favorite resources for researching different travel destinations. Okay. So if we type this, we have regions. And if you scroll down, we have cities. And what we want to do is we want to come to cities and we want to highlight the name of the city. We don't want to click on it. We want to highlight and we want to choose Scrape Similar. Now, what is Scrape Similar? Scrape Similar is a Chrome plugin that I already installed. So if you, you know, if you want to install it, if you want to know how to install it, just Google for Scrape Similar. It's just one click to install it. Okay, it works with Chrome. I'm not going to talk about it in the video because it's going to make the video two hours long. Okay, so we want to hit Scrape Similar. Once we do that, we have a list of cities. We also have URLs. Okay, so this is useful for us. Because what we're going to do is we're going to copy to clipboard. We're going to go back to travel and we're going to paste it directly. Very, very simple. Okay, now we have the link. Actually, we're going to name this name and this is URL. We know this is city name. So we don't have to name it a city. We're just going to say name and URL. The next thing we want to do is we want to go back here and we want to right click on this little description here. We want to right click, scrape similar. And now we have these descriptions. And so once you do something like this, you're only going to get the actual text here. Because guys, remember, we already have the name of the city. We don't need that. So if you do something like this, you can just copy to clipboard. And then you can go back to your Google Sheet here. And you're going to enter a new column. You're going to create a new column. And you're going to call this description. Now, what I want to do is I want to have this description second. So I'm going to switch these and I'm going to paste it. Okay, we have a bunch of things here. I'm going to delete this text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop. And you want to fix it up a little bit. So you want to take this here and you want to put it here. Okay, very simple. And then you can just dra drag and drop these up. And now it's all nice. 
So now you have actual data, you have the name of the city, you have a little description and you have the URL. And that is a good start. If you want guys, you can create another column and you can, you know, have a, you know, bigger description, a longer description, some more text, recommend it, not recommend it. You guys can do this on your own, but right now we have a nice start. The next thing you want to do is you want to go into offers and you really want to pick an offer, okay? So, we don't really need this. This is an advanced method, so you don't really need this you don't need the sheet at all. What you want to do, guys, is you want to just pick an offer. Now, for this method, the best offer is going to be a flight travel offer. So something like flights mojo, flights channel, uh trip.com. So let's go with trip.com, i visa, i uh this travel. So it really depends. Let's say we want to promote trip.com, okay? Hotel, flights, trains. We can click on it and you can learn more about it. This is kind of what it gives you. And so what we're going to do, guys, we don't even need this offers here, okay? We don't really care about that. The next thing, guys, we want to do is we want to go to this app called Adalo and you want to create your free account. Just want to hit, hit sign up. It doesn't cost anything. They have a very, very generous free plan. Once you do that, you're going to be on the screen. We want to, you know, we want to follow this wizard. So I'm going to work with you step by step. We're going to choose native mobile app. We're going to hit next. We're going to choose blank template branding. I'm going to just call it travel 2020, 2021. You can call it whatever you want. Let's change the primary colors. Uh, let's make this maybe blue. Blue is uh, one of my favorite colors. So let's make it blue and let's make this, um, I don't know, something like this. Okay, let's hit create. And now we can create a very simple app where you can promote anything that you want in any way that you want. Makes it super, super powerful. So it has the sign up and login screen. You can leave this if you want. I'm going to remove it just to make the method simpler, but you can leave it. If you leave it, you're going to get email sign up. So you can send them email you can do email marketing later so it's really up to you i'm going to delete this but like i said you can leave it and now what we have is a home screen okay and the method that we want to do is we want to display them information we want to it's kind of like a little travel app a pocket travel app and so we're going to have two screens i'm going to i'm going to select it i'm going to hit home so click on home and then i'm going to copy and paste that's going to create a new screen. So on this screen, it's going to have a list of cities, right? So this app is going to be for a specific country, okay? That is why it's going to be a lot easier to promote. Once, you know, let's say this is about Mexico. Well, you, it's, it's going to be so easy to promote. I'm going to show you towards uh, the end of the video some really, really good ways to promote it. And so we're going to call this. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to select this thing. I'm going to rename home to list, right? It's going to be cities list. And this is going to be details, okay? So we're going to go in here, and I'm going to call this details, okay? And then I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to be promoting it. So this thing here, instead of title, we're going to go into title. I'm going to say Mexico because our app is about Mexico, right? And here it's going to be, you know, something else. Like I'm just going to call it Mexico again, Mexico, something like this. Next, guys, you want to go in here into database and you want to add a new collection. We're going to call this cities. You want to hit add and you want to add the property, right? So we want we're going to have three properties. OK, uh, actually, we might even have four properties, right? So we're going to have name, description. We're going to have a URL, right? This is the URL. They can learn more about it. And then this is going to be the booking URL. And this is going to be our affiliate URL. So I'm going to explain to you exactly how this works. Affiliate URL. Okay. So we're going to go back here. We're going to add a new column. Affiliate URL here. And you're going to go and pick your affiliate URL from Max Bounty. So we're using trip.com. So let's say we're promoting trip.com. So I'm going to go back to my sheet. And I'm going to say trip.com. This is not what you're going to be putting. You're going to be putting your affiliate URL. You're going to do this, and this is going to be, now obviously your affiliate URL is going to look different, okay? This is just for informational purposes only. This is going to be your URL, right? So what you guys want to do is you want to do something like this, and you want to do this, right? So you're going to say wikivoyage.com plus uh, C2. And when you do that, you have a real URL. 
right? This is an, a real URL. So we're going to go in here. We're going to drag and drop it. And now you have a real URL because this is not a URL. Okay. So I'm just going to call this URL and this I'm just going to call a um, original URL, whatever. Right. We're not going to be using this field. We're only going to be, we're going to be skipping this field, but we need it. And so what we want to do now, guys, is you want to go to file, you want to download it. And you want to download it as a comma separated values. Once you do that, you're going to have this thing here. You're going to go back to Adalo. You're going to click on zero records. You're going to say import CSV and you're going to drag and drop this thing here. And you're going to select it. Name, name, description, description, original URL. You're not going to pick anything. URL, URL, affiliate URL. Import data. Done. And if you go in here, we have everything imported. Affiliate URL, we, uh, you know, the city URL, the name, description, everything like that. Knock, you're done here. Next thing, we're going to work on this first screen here. Okay, very important. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus sign. We're going to drag and drop this list. Drag and drop this list. We're going to say, what is this a list of cities? So this is going to be a city name. Okay. So if you go in here, and you scroll down, the title is a city name, the subtitle, I'm going to turn it off. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. I'm just going to keep it simple. Uh, the left section is an avatar. We, you know, you can have a city avatar if you want. I'm going to also turn it off uh, just by, dra you know, just dragging this thing here. And the next thing we want to do is we want to create a link. Okay, guys, we want to create the link. So you want to click on this list and you want to scroll up. You want to choose the simple list. You want to add an action link two details okay and we're passing the current city and this thing knows about knows exactly you know what city the user picked we're gonna drag and drop this text right here and this text is going to be the city description current city description right you want to delete this and you also want to have the link right we're gonna hit plus and the next thing you guys want to do is you want to choose a button okay we're going to have, so this is actually not going to say Mexico. This is going to say the name of the city, actually. So we're going to go to title. We're going to remove Mexico and we're going to pick current city name. That way it has the name description. And this is going to say book your trip, book your flight or whatever. Uh, book your flight to the city. So we're going to, we're going to remove the icon. Actually, is there a plane? Oh, perfect. Plane. And then we're going to go in here. We're going to choose book your stay that's it and we're going to extend it something like this book your stay and this is going to be the affiliate link for that specific city so we're going to go in here add an action it's going to link to a website we're going to click this we're just going to we're going to say current city affiliate url this is going to redirect to trip.com or your affiliate link let's run this app Let's see if it's working. Okay, we're going to hit on preview. Let's see if we, don't, we have any bugs or uh, if it's working right away. So we have all the cities. I can click on it and look at this one. You can go in here. And if I click on this, it should, it should go to trip.com. And we are on trip.com. Obviously, this is going to be your affiliate link, guys. Okay, and then they can book it. And then they can do everything, right? Let's try something else. Uh, let's... Uh, Let's do preview. All right. Let's say we want to do Mexico City, which is the capital. Okay. Capital of the Republic, one of the three largest cities in the world and a sophisticated urban hub with a, et cetera, et cetera. And I want to click on book your stay. And it redirects me to the affiliate link. Now, there's a couple of things you guys want to do. Okay. So if we go in here, if we click on our database, you want to clean it up a little bit. If we go to records, it has this... Um, kind of this dash here. So you want to remove that dash because that dash is there uh, because it's it's a dash to the city name. But since we're only displaying the description, we do not really need that dash. So I'm going to fix that dash real quick. You can actually fix it here or you can fix it in your database. So if we go back to this database here, you can click this and you can fix it. I'm not going to do this for all the cities. I'll just do for three just to show you how it's done. All I do is I just remove it and hit save. And so I did it for Tijuana, Tasco, and San Luis Potosi. So if we hit done, we hit preview, and we pick, uh, you know, San Luis Potosi. We pick this. It doesn't have the dash anymore. Now it just has this right here. 
And so you can do a lot of things. One thing that you can do is you can have images, right? So you can have an image here, an image of the city. And that image is going to be displayed as an avatar. And if you want to do that, you got to go to database, add property image. Okay, so you want to do that. Now, if you hit on records, you can have you can have an image, right? So you can pick an image, right? You can you can find that image on the internet and you can actually upload it here, right? So you can find an image for Tijuana. You can just go very, very easy, guys. You can just go to a site called pexels.com and you can type Tijuana and you can find free images. There is an image. These are all free images, right? So all I have to do is download it. I just download it. Now, if I go back to my app and I can choose an image and I can just go to downloads here and I can pick Tijuana and it downloads it. And now I have one image here, okay? So there's the image here. So if I hit save, I have one image. All I have to do is go back to done. I can just click on this list. And for the last section, I can have an avatar and the image is going to be database. Well, I called it new property, but it should not be new property. It should be image. Image here. We can go back to image, click on this. We can go to last section current city image now the image is going to be displayed now if you go in here you can add an image right you can drag and drop this here it's going to be big so let's fix let's drag a lot of this stuff down we can do that actually you can even put it somewhere here right because the description could be fairly long we click on this image source uh it's going to be da database current city image and now, what do we have an image for Tijuana? So if we preview this, preview this right here, you go to Tijuana, it has an image, right? So you can make it as, as, you know, as complicated or as simple as you want. So it's really up to you how far you want to take it. But the purpose here is that we just created a very, very valuable app, right? It has the, you know, the main cities, right? If we go to back to Wiki Travel, uh, Wiki Voyage, we have nine main cities in Mexico, like nine most important cities. You can also do it for regions if you want, using the exact same method. You can do it any way you want. It's really up to you. And you can make it as interesting as you want, as complex. You can have the Mexican flag there. You can have Mexican food there. And then you can have your affiliate links to trip.com or you can use, uh, you can do something like there's trip.com. They have other ones. Flights Mojo, Budget Hotels, pretty much all of these, or at least, you know, 90% of these offers you can promote. Agoda, Agoda is actually very good. Uh, I use this all the time for booking various hotels. Kiwi.com, Flight Booking, Omeo Travel, you know, iVisa. You know, you can, you can promote most of these offers if you want. It's really up to you how you want to do it. So if you want me to make a more sophisticated and a more comprehensive video about, you know, making a real, a real travel app, and promoting all of these offers at the same time. Let me know in the comments below, leave a like, and also let me know your opinion. Let me know if you understand this method or you want me to clarify something and I would be happy to do just that. And now that you completed this app, all you, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna hit share and you can actually share this app. Look at this one. This is a real app. This is a real URL here, right? You can hit share and it's going to share it. They can scan to install it. They can do whatever they want. And how you can you promote it? This is the best part, guys. Since this app is about something specific, it's about Mexico, then all you have to do is find forums about Mexico, communities about Mexico. So if I go to Google and I type, you know, Mexico forums, that's all I have to do. Look at this one, Mexico travel forum, Mexico forum, Mexico this. And you can say, hey, guys, I created a very simple app about various destinations. You never want to talk about the offers, the affiliate marketing. You can just say Mexico and you can pick, you can, you can make your app for France. You can make it for Spain. You can make it for anything that you want. So you can, all you have to do is say it's something, you can type something like this, 10 most visited countries in the world, right? And you have France, Spain, US, China, Italy, Turkey. So Mexico is not only the top six. You can do an app for France or Spain or the US because maybe there's going to be more demand or you can pick a country that you want. It's really, really up to you. And then all you have to do is simply Google Mexico forums. There's 127 million results. 
So you have a ton, a ton of opportunities. And you can say, hey, guys, I created a really nice travel app you guys can use. And you never mentioned the fact that it has affiliate links or anything like that. Do not say, like, click on the link to book. I would really appreciate if you can click. Do not mention that. Just say, I created a really great app. Here's how you can use it. Enjoy the app. Let me know what you think. That's it. They're going to go and click the links themselves. And they're going to, you know, you're going to be getting nice commissions as a result. All right, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this method. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Let me know if you want me to make a more comprehensive video, a longer video, maybe a video of 45 minutes up to an hour, step by step, exactly what you can do, exactly how you can make a really, really nice app. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video, like this video. I would really, really appreciate it if you can give it a thumbs up. It may not mean a lot to you. It may not. It may be easy for you to do, but it really means a lot to me. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you real, real soon.